guys. Chat, I could chat. I what is going on? They put music in the background, bro. Bro, what are they? What is going on right now? Bro, this is too much. You missed the cheese ball drama. No, what the is the cheese ball drama, dude? How do how does an entire community this is them debating ludwig that he should be a cool friend how does an entire community unironically unironically not recognize how much of a loser they come across as for defending another streamer saying that like no actually i was very cool with this other streamer my vibes were immaculate like this level of parasocialism needs to be studied in a lab dude like this is some insane it's got 1,000 likes, too. Just going to act like you didn't blatantly lie, huh? Actually, as a matter of fact, this eight-second clip shows with conclusive evidence that my personal favorite streamer was actually really cool. It seems like you were lying about my streamer. What? You only are proving the point. You are literally fighting the wrong battle here. You are, you unironically, even if Desi was the coolest person on the planet which he's not definitely okay he, his community makes him look even more unhinged okay this is crazy we are actually going to show you with conclusive evidence that our streamer was cool you know what a vibe check is do you understand what a vibe check is he came in the room mid-game i tried inviting him to join in he didn't want to i then offered a hundred dollars he missed then sat on the couch and left after the stream ended how the f are you gonna tell me how the first impression went from eight seconds, Lamau. They're crazy. They're debating him on this. They're debating him on this. They're like, no, dude, you don't understand. My streamer's actually sick. I love you, Ludwig, but he ate the cheese ball. Don't lie on my dog like that. He ate that cheese ball. What is happening, dude? They literally think that like this, this cheese ball eight second clip is like, is like personally, what? I don't think people understand how unhinged they come across as. I, I don't think that... Like, I think people from the outside looking at this would go insane. Like, they're like, what? You're telling me that one dude said, one content creator said another content creator had bad vibes. And then that other content creator's community went back, found a VOD, found an eight second clip. And now they're using that to yell at the other content creator about his vibe check initially, claiming that his vibe check was false and that he should relitigate everything about this relationship that he has crafted. Bro, how are you doing this? You literally are proving the, the community is, is just unhinged. There were four LSF threads about this before the Frogan threads. They have like 900 plus comments. Listen, Mr. Bus Driver, he ate the cheese puff. He ate it, sir. He's cool. Don't you agree? Look at this eight second video. They also think that you're feeding Lud lines. I haven't even talked to Ludwig. Talked to him yesterday, but it wasn't about this shit. I didn't even know this shit existed. I don't know how I would be able to feed him uh, talking points on this personally. It's really stupid, but technically Ludwig wasn't truthful about the actual interaction, which doesn't mean much, but they will run with it anyway. Bro, I'm sorry, but this is like, this is literally, this is neurodivergence at, at its maximum level, okay? Thinking that a a five, six, however many year old uh, uh, interaction uh, on, on some of the boundaries of that interaction being like not exactly correct because they, because he misremembered it or whatever is, is proof that this person actually has like year long, like five year, six year long resentment and not as a consequence of like all the things that he has done that other content creators find to be unhinged and, and awful, but instead it's the one cheese ball thing like that's crazy i don't think i've been I, I don't i don't think i've ever been this obsessed about like defending anyone one of these guys is going to be on the news no he said he denied a cheese ball if we see him then picking up a cheese ball and throwing it in his mouth we can logically conclude that ludwig is saying destiny denied a cheese ball from someone if the game was people throwing cheese balls in other people's mouths then that was the game and he chose to be separate from the game but still participate in the task of the game there's no way you don't understand this what is happening bro crafted this immaculate story about how turning down a cheese ball means you are just bad vibes and it didn't even turn out to be true why do these guys think that there's a magic silver bullet that will convince everyone that the parasocial relationship you have with your content creator that comes across as incredibly unhinged is not going to make him look even more unhinged cheese balls i had a circle of like 10 people around me and we were trying to bro i wouldn't defend lebron this hard okay i would not defend lebron this hard that's crazy what is happening throw the cheese ball into every person's mouth in a row and if we failed we would restart just a dumb game that you play with your friends 
But I remember he comes in and I go, cheese ball? And he goes, no. <laughs> if he hits it first round, I'll give him 100 bucks. They made a video. They made a video of me like I owned him. He lied about the cheese ball. This is cheese ball gate. Yeah, I don't think I would defend myself this hard. They tracked down a five-year video to do oppo research and why their streamer is cool vibes. Very normal shit. That's awesome. Y'all have such a weird gang stock vision of the world like MAGA Republicans in the deep state. Destiny. Yeah, it's about you and your cringe, unhinged, cockroach, slobbering friend group being obsessed with Destiny and doing whatever you can to make Hassan stop crying so you can guzzle more of his... What the f... This is a six minute compilation, bro, bro, bro. They're making video essays. They're making, oh my God, I didn't even know about this. This is so awesome, dude. Okay, okay. You need to, if you are a part of this community, I'm telling you right now, like this community that does stuff like this, this is your wake up call. Please understand that you are currently, you have depersonalized, okay? You are not a human being anymore. You have unironically lost yourself in this cult. We are watching a cult unfold right in front of our eyes. You're making a documentary, a mini documentary, because a streamer said your, pers your, your personal best friend in your mind, your streamer, actually has bad vibes. Oh my God. You're a millionaire. And ever since then, I was like, hey, just like every other human on this earth, I hope he does well. I hope he does good things. But the vibes aren't there for me. Oh, what he said I would die for you. That's okay, right? Oh, in a video game. In a video game. Cheese balls. What is the last part? Wait, what? This guy was weird. Hold up. Let me make a detailed breakdown of how A, he's not weird, and B, your recollection was incorrect. He's both very nice with it and based. Hassan, you don't understand that vibes are purely based on logic? Bro, this is illogical. To make the assertion that uh, human interaction does not contain multitudes is ironically illogical, okay? Like human interaction. Human interaction is, is off of everything. Like is off of all of the senses, not just simply one. You will never be able to literally comprehend how two people interacted with one another by simply reviewing the tape like it's the, the Pruder film. All, all the while where you are trying to debate the issue and the issue is whether your, uh, your, your favorite streamer is actually has good vibes or not. I don't know how to describe how insanely overreactive this community is on any marginal slight that they take offense on against their favorite content creator. This is psychotic, bro. And then out of nowhere, then out of the blue, my name gets brought up. Destiny. 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 No, 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 not a big way. I always wondered how many views you'd get if you were ugly. Uh. But then I watched Destiny stream. Oh. <laughs> That's an easy copy paste to write it ro roast. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> Just my name getting brought up. Guys, guys, guys. But, you know. Guys, chat, I could, chat, I could. They put the school shooting music in the background, bro. Bro! Bro, what are they? What is going on right now? Bro, this is too much. They put the school shooting song in the background, too, being like, Ludwig, don't come to school tomorrow. Actually, do come to school tomorrow. Wow! You don't understand. My streamer's vibes are immaculate. I will now proceed to DDoSing you and also doxing you and also make this docu-series. The amount of resentment that you have to hold in your heart for a whole ass other person, like fighting their battles. Holy shit, dude. You are so goddamn lost in the sauce, brother. This is hilarious. I lo I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself a little bit. Okay. I could pull the ripcord, chat. I could pull it. Guys, if you want to support this event, this costs a shit ton of money, but it, it can all be paid back. Chat? Guys, guys, I'm going to pull it. Chat? Uh, guys, I... They just have, like, compilation of me and Ludwig standing next to one another? Is that what it is? Chat, I'm going to pull it. Chat, I'm going to pull the ripcord, chat. Am I going to be reimbursed for the firearms in the stream? Uh, yeah. We can reimburse you. If it comes time... By the way, again, another incredible moment. Another incredible moment where they just totally didn't pick up on context clues there. Me making a joke i never got reimbursed for it by the way because i never asked for it me making a joke with that also being another heated me making a 
joke was picked up as like another point of major contention uh major contention reimburse gate i forgot dude so many of these controversies are so silly looking at it in the rear view mirror it's awesome to take a side you gotta reimburse every streamer however much it costs them. okay don't even don't even say that way doesn't take stances did you do see there's an lsf post already people are no. very mad at me about what Lolly will be like it. yeah guys i'm on every side possible why are there many just don't worry about it we'll talk about are it are they actually so mad he took down a story see what this what is the hardest said. job on her yeah what i'm saying see what this did that's my friend okay this is how friends Talk to one another sometimes. I also call him MAGA male. I don't actually legitimately believe that he is a supporter of Donald Trump. Oh my God, this is so creepy. It's like hyper analyzing every minutia between a relation between two adult individuals. You said he was a member. I said he was a member of Hamas years ago. So what is it? Is Lud MAGA male or is he your pal? I need a six minute montage of your interactions to understand the truth. Dude, this is like, this is insane, dude. What the f Bro, I don't think people understand like Destiny's fan base doesn't understand like why won't Destiny get unbanned on Twitch? Bro, this is like the level of intensity and and toxicity and in many instances harassment because this is like funny and we can laugh this off but they have this exact same level of smoke for every content creator that is in destiny's crosshairs okay how do you not understand that that literally is not only a liability because he constantly says unhinged shit but also beyond that it makes the safe uh less uh it makes the space less safe for like content creators in general they don't want to be around him they don't want the smoke from his community. His community literally is so dedicated to hatred that they will regularly create Twitch accounts just so they can restream me and, and then turn around and like write shit in the chat and do like raids as best as they can. I'm a 25K Andy, okay? Sometimes a 30K Andy. If I'm a 300 person chatter, if I'm a 300 person Twitch streamer, their community is going to literally overwhelm mine. I have five, six years of this, like this kind of these kinds of attempts of like hate rating and shit like that. But for the most part, and even then they can still get, uh, get one off on me and like clip something, piss me off, clip something, try to uh, make it go viral. But like when you do this kind of stuff to like other content creators, I don't think you understand you, you look insane like they don't like that most people don't like that just want to mention that d constantly cries about his twitch ban and not being a part of the circles of creators that you're a part of in these communities his fans are emulating that sentiment but d is defo the source of this shit man also makes more kill the streamer jokes than anybody else weird how their community go from support it when he says other people should be arrested for it yeah this is crazy his offline chat is saying that you're so mad right now like don't understand the basic things yeah i'm so mad why would i be mad this is hilarious dude i i think it's it's legitimately cultish behavior not to recognize that like the rest of the world outside of your inner circle and the orbiters that are constantly around your favorite content creator for a crumb of the clout and a crumb of your attention outside of that neat little circle on the internet this kind of behavior is truly unhinged i'll give you a great example you will never see markiplier do this Okay, you will never see PewDiePie do this. You won't see their fan bases doing this by getting the go ahead from their streamer. Okay, normal content creators that are in this space don't engage in this kind of behavior. And the only thing you have in this circumstance is, right, well, Hassan's community is not a cult, am I right? Like, bro, you just came in here to say that to me. You don't see me going, hey, guys, go to Destiny's. Uh, streams or whatever i say the exact opposite for years and years because i didn't want this to be happening in reverse i literally banned mentions of him and i still to this day tell you not to do this shit there's a difference i think you should spend your time much better than this okay sitting around festering in your own resentment for somebody else like fighting their battles that's kind of crazy there's a post on his reddit asking for more edits like this an hour ago i don't think they realize this this is crazy you know what's funny lately i was wondering if i was being indoctrinated by watching you for so long so i decided to watch d for a bit to try to see if it was an echo chamber first 
he got with a couple seemingly smart argumentations. And I was like, damn, why does he sound like it's making sense? But then he just blurted out some racist judgments about a whole oppressed group. And I remembered his real intention. Yeah, I literally joke about people that know all the latest and greatest in his community. Like when people come in here and they're like giving me a, a, a detailed chronicle of whatever the he's done lately. I'm like, why the do you know that? I think these people would understandably make fun of like Nicki Minaj stands like barbs and shit. And yet they're doing it for a guy that has never hit platinum. Okay. That has zero platinum albums. Okay. Like, yeah, the barbs do this shit because Nicki Minaj dominated the space for so many years as like the, the damn near singular force for all the gays and all the women out there that wanted to hear someone rap. Okay. I'm not talking about her personality and I'm not talking about anything else. Okay. I'm not talking about her like latest shit. But I get why there were so many ride or die people for Nicki Minaj for so many years as she was like singularly in a league of her own. Now that obviously of reality has changed. This does not justify the actions of her fan base for the record. But you're doing this for a guy who's a debate streamer, dude. God damn. It's a sign that he was going to stop ass if he actually left up a video where he made like a two second clip where he joked about something that Hassan had said about the streamer privilege yes a real job can be gruesome a real job can make you very tired but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you in the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will now as you can imagine this clip went mega viral and Hassan was so unbelievably sensitive but I wanted to talk about this as a streamer myself for almost six years now <laughs> on how hard it really is. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I would, look, I, I just... Oh, God. More sensitive than the head of his cock after Ludwig spent two hours polishing it with his tongue, okay? That's so dumb. Like, ay ay ay. I thought there was something, like, more insidious in here. I got it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He showed the context, though? It doesn't matter that he showed the context. It's just like, what's funny? <laughs> Wait, how long is he about to go mauled over this comment? <sighs> You should call dude what the f i now understand why his community gets like such anger and resentment and animosity out about particular people he is directing them that is obsessive behavior bro he's directing them to feel some type of way he just pulls up long ass like clips from my stream and analyzes my behavior why bring you into his beef with lud yeah i know that's Wow. I don't think these guys understand that they're being duped by another content creator that is making inferences about a relationship between two content creators that he does not talk to at all. That he is incredibly so far removed from understanding even like understanding normal human interaction out of context framing. Like even if that framing is in context, it still doesn't matter because and I, I don't know how long he watched the, the me reacting to, to Ludwig, but like, this is something that I get mad at, at a lot of people that do this in my community, that do this in the friends of mine and their communities, where sometimes they'll come in and be like, you really wronged Will Neff, okay? And it's like, bro, Will and I have been best friends for 15 years. Are you insane? You think because you watch him nightly, that you have a better understanding of what he's going through than someone who has known him for 15 years. Like the reason why I'm bringing up this example is because sometimes as people who watch content creators, we develop this oftentimes unhealthy relationship with them. So we make inferences about what's going on in their minds. This can be, reflected in the commentary that I see all the time where people go, Hassan, you seem really tired. Maybe you should go to sleep. And sometimes they're right, right? Sometimes I do need to go to sleep, okay? But in many instances, when you think you know what is happening between two adults that you only see on camera, okay, you have no idea what's happening in the background. Yeah, people do that to Will too. He blasts them every time. Exactly. That, th like... And normally, normally, this kind of behavior would be seemingly completely unhinged, okay? 
But of course, if your streamer, if your favorite streamer, Destiny, is giving you permission to feel this way and is basically motivating you to feel this way by making inferences about two people he does not know at all, then yeah, of course his community is going to go off the hinges like this. This is crazy. You know what's really funny about it? Is like, is the exact same, uh, this is almost identical to the time when I was like reacting to someone in my Discord being like, oh my God, I'm gonna kill myself in a video game, right? And out of context, people thought I was suicidal because Destiny and his orbiters on Twitter were like, lol, he's going to kill himself. He's so sad. Meanwhile, in the real world, I didn't even know that was going on. I didn't even know that was going on because I wasn't on Twitter. I don't have Twitter on my phone. I was out in Australia living my best life. And I start getting messages from IRL friends being like, bro, is everything okay? And it blew my mind. Like it, it showed me once again that... For a lot of people, they don't even care what the truth is. They just care about what their understanding of events are, right? And these people are, are doing that right now over and over again. It's very parasocial. Divorcelli has a weird parasocial relationship that is, you know, hate-related for the most part with a content creator like myself. And maybe even a content creator like Ludwig and Cutie Cinderella. If he wasn't a streamer... This behavior would be seen as unhinged cyber stalking. And as a matter of fact, because he is a streamer, this makes it so much worse because his community is engaging in it as well as him. That's crazy. It's also hilarious because I want everyone to remember this entire saga happened because Slime had an off-handed remark, a one-off joke about Destiny being a Wikipedia reader, a Wikipedia researcher. This is like, this is like Destiny just reading about Israel, Palestine on Wikipedia and then hopping in. That's it. Slime said, oh, Destiny uh, researchers on Wikipedia. That's what sparked this entire saga. It's so crazy. I really, really, and I mean this with all sincerity, I really hope i really hope that people in his fan base see this as a moment to be like maybe we've gone a little too far maybe it's not warranted to behave this way maybe we are a little out of pocket you only fan the flame by reacting to him just stop then he'll become obsolete no that's not true either holy f i think he's been spiraling since the the fincarelli conversation like he's just he got hit on like the one aspect that he cares about the most, which is like, he's the best debater. And when he met someone who was equally as stubborn and equally as spiteful as he is, but with an endless amount more knowledge on the issues that he chose to debate on and looked like a f massive fool to even people like Joe Rogan. It's just like he's been on an endless spiral since then. It's like the divorce and then this together has... A I don't know. I Look, I'm doing the same thing that I just criticized him on. I don't know what his background is, okay? Maybe he's having the time of his life. I take it back. You know what? I take it back. I'm sure he's doing all right. His fan base, on the other hand, doesn't seem to be doing all right at all, okay? As far as what I have seen, I cannot make a, like a full-blown assessment of a person's, you know, uh, I can't make a full-blown assessment of a person's, like, mental fortuity, okay? But all I will say is this. All Destiny had to do was convince his community that you are actually the most damaging person in politics so they can justify all this behavior as the righteous cause. He convinced his community that they're genuinely making the world a better place. I know. It's insane. Call Hassan and apologize. Why is this on that? What did I do? I feel like everything I said was fine. He said, call Hassan. He's crying unironically. <laughs> That's the deal. Just... He read a comment, which is a very common thing that people say on Twitch chat. That's He knows that. There's no way he is like not picked up on that i think pull him out of the thumbnail but i don't think the content of what i said is something i wouldn't say in public or to a person he was so sensitive that ludwig deleted that whole video that was yeah in part inspired by son. i talked to him about doing that but like, even this conversation even this conversation oh my god he's like picking up quotes from my discord even this conversation itself he has no idea he has no idea what the relationship that i have with ludwig he is just simply making inferences and his fan base is going off of like bits and pieces that they've chosen. 
<laughs> that's a that's a, hey that's a change on the fly baby that was a mobile mail that i uploaded yesterday you might not have seen it though because i took the video down lied about why he deleted the video the reason i took it down is because we had a great sponsor on it one sec what well, again bro you have no f idea why people make decisions you have no idea why people make decisions you are making an inference on why he made his decision and choosing not to believe the person that's insane how do you convince someone and their fan bases that they might be wrong when they're making assertions about you what is this exactly uh why are so many streamers oh god um let's see here uh why are so many streamers afraid of 291 upvotes but we all know Asma and hassan are both connected to night media and in turn connected to BlackRock, which connects to Bilderberg Group, which in turn lets us know that are both are Illuminati members. It's actually, that is completely true. Yep, you're right. Absolutely. And uh, yeah. Apart from a handful of them, nobody stands up to Hassan ever. Asmongol makes a perfectly fine point about pro-Palestine protesters. Bro, that is so unhinged, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing bro yeah asmongold is joking chatters come on oh my god bro this is every reddit post from like a destiny stand comes across like a cry for help dude they've been trying to make asmongold hate you for years now yeah where did that other guy go i really wanted to see uh what that other guy had to say it's that simple called out no no you're he's actually right um let's see here apart from a handful of them nobody sends up the sun as well, makes a perfectly good point about pro-Palestine uh, protesters need to get out of the road. You made it on our idiocracy? What? I can't even click on this. I don't know what's happening here. Hassan and his Discord on anti-white racism. Bro, they go to every subreddit. They never stop. They literally go to every subreddit. All right, let's finish out this hinge but video. The great sponsor wasn't getting great views. It's always fun and then reposted a new video. I figured, you know, maybe a Minecrafter will do something dumb and I can just talk about that and throw a sponsor in and everybody will be happy. Where he blamed my entire community for harassment because of one random DM he got from a guy on Twitter who had nothing to do with it. I was just being used in a proxy war for people who don't like us always. Now this is the DM from a guy who just said no balls. And then I scrolled up in our DMs and I found out that this dude was my viewer five years ago. And has since moved on, I think clearly to like watching Destiny and on Destiny's behalf wants to like make his songs like a lot worse. And then what a dick suck comment. Ludwig is like such a decently cool person, other than the fact that he's such a spineless f and carries so much water. I don't know if it's like a cloud obsession thing or if he legitimately just enjoys getting his ass by Hassan every day, but like it's a special Dude, is he okay? That is so unwell. That is insane, dude. That is repellent. It's like normie repellent. He's saying talking shit with your friends is weird. Like, does he have friends? No, I don't think I don't think he has any like actual friends. I think he's just like why is X there? Um, because Destiny is genuinely the most parasocial viewer. No, literally. Like, this is nuts. He just keeps making inferences that Ludwig and I are having gay sex too, which is I don't know what's what that's about. We're just having we're just having gay sex. Like, I mean, it's it's what's it to you? Hi it baba. Really frustrating because Ludwig knows better. He knows how irresponsible stupid it is to take one DM and pretend that yeah, I like that this entire video, by the way, literally shows that exact same thing that Ludwig was implying, which is that Destiny causes his fan base to behave in like incredibly erratic and incredibly irresponsible ways. Like this right here, this entire video in and of itself, this entire video in and of itself is basically the same thing that people have been trying to explain, okay? That Destiny and his community are a blight on the streaming space. Obviously, there are worse communities out there on kick, like the dudes who do, like the dudes who basically uh, serialize uh, pornography and things of that nature. But outside of those guys, like he's still in like the top 10 worst kick streamers category. And I genuinely mean it. He has the capacity to show himself as like a normal guy who believes in some causes and he will like go out and debate people and and make himself look better as a consequence of like who he's debating because like some of the dudes he's debating are just like genuine monsters right but beyond that but beyond that it's like so f unhinged the intensity that they have towards other content creators and the genuine like 
slant of justice that they feel they have in pursuing these causes. Like you're doing this because a streamer's friend on his podcast said you read Wikipedia, okay? That's crazy. Like, I don't know how else to describe this to people. Like, making this footage, making this, like, little mini docu-series, like, this little f compilation is, is further evidence that you are a blight on streaming. 100%. This is crazy. Or exemplifies an entire fan's fan base or an entire streamer's fan base. True. Like, what a stupid comment to make. You know better than this. You know that you would never stand for anybody doing this. That if I were to go up to you or if anybody else were to make a comment like... Like, the cowardly Ludwig Agar Mogumel not only remade his old video about Hassan to soften the blow, but took a death threat response he got from his own fan and invented a story based off an of LSF thread that actually, it's a Destiny fan and his fault. Like, what is going on, dude? They're, they've been doing this. This is unhinged, man. This is completely unhinged. Completely. Normal people make albums of their family photos or something. These guys are playing dolls of you in their heads. Yeah. It's pretty funny to think that, like, this is going to inevitably cause all of Destiny's enemies to be lol cowed. And maybe in their own community, in the own, like, little echo chamber they've cultivated, they can think that. But to the rest of the world, to the onlookers, they look at this and go, bro, you are the law cow you're obsessed this is like mental illness in full display you have to change your behavior you have to stop doing this you have to tell your fans that doing this is literally not all right for their own sake if you genuinely care about the mental health of your fan base this level of toxicity unironically is so unsustainable you're literally giving people brain rot directly you made a seven minute video because Ludwig's co-host on the yard said that you do Wikipedia research, okay? And then this spiraled completely out of control because you then turned around, okay? You then turned around and started like Ludwig, Ludwig's girlfriend, making jokes about how you're going to off to Ludwig's girlfriend's AI like, just unhinged shit. I don't think they will ever comprehend. If you don't see this as, like, if you don't see this as, like, pure insanity, if you don't see this as pure sanity, then I don't know if you'll ever see it. Like, right now, at this moment, this is your, your wake-up call, I hope. Oh, wow, Ludwig's fans think this because one guy DM me and he follows Ludwig on Twitter, Holy which, by the way, this guy followed me or Hassan, or maybe not even Ludwig on Twitter, right? You know how stupid it is to make this type of generalization but he does it anyway to to defend his what his friend hassan how weak what a spineless thing to do or it was just literally hassan wrote the script for him to do here and he read this alongside the advertiser script which is bad. yeah i wrote a script for him dude yeah this is clearly because he thinks slime got his comment from you i don't even i never i rarely ever talk to slime like the last time i talked to slime was when he was on my stream when we we're doing a you laugh you lose to to raise money which i invited him to the other uh you laugh you lose and he was like nah man i'm going through it right now that was the literal last time i talked to slime d laughed at cutie crying on stream about the ai porn and says she's faking it for attention absolute monster is d the lol count now his viewers feed him this info and he reacts for them every time i mean in order for him to be a lol cow people have to be just as unhinged as his community and like care about belittling him and and humiliating him he was the lol cow for a brief moment when he reached a much larger stage when he went on the Lex Friedman debate, right? And everyone was like, what the f is this guy? Okay. I mean, this is a, this is a culmination of five years of like active cyber stalking. Uh, and, and they're opening up new fronts of war against like anyone and everyone that they have perceived to have slighted their favorite content creator. So other people are basically getting like a fraction of uh, what I've been experiencing for the past five to six years, which I have never really addressed. You alienate lots of people. Um, I get, you give people brain rot too. I agree though. D does worse. I feel like you and D both alienate too many people for no reason. I mean, the people that I choose to alienate are people that I don't think I'll be able to, you know, convince at a certain point because I do have to draw lines on what I find to be permissible, right? If someone is like actively being transphobic, if someone is actively being homophobic, if someone is being actively uh, hateful, bigoted, I want to maintain like a level of safety in this community because I want there to be good discourse, right? There's a reason why you got unbanned, Jay Miles, even though you like went on a tirade about how 
you got uh, bullied for being white and how, you know, reverse racism is real and whatnot. Okay. But you still got unbanned because beyond that, you haven't done anything that I find to be like completely uh, offensive and unacceptable. Even if I do personally think that you're in here specifically to, you know, consistently antagonize and maybe cut more content for whichever community that you're coming from. Okay. All you'll get, not you, because, you know, you are obviously subscribed, but all, all many others in here that are waiting for this moment will get will be the top of the hour ad break, of course, unless they also subscribe for $5 or for free. In my opinion, D is a completely an alt-right pipeline type of guy. I found out that he's been routinely downplaying Nick uh, Fuentes' Naziness because I was trying to warn my friend that Turkey Tom's an alt-right pipeline guy. And sure enough, they all casually seem to hang out with Nazis. Yeah, I don't even know who the f*** that Turkey Tom is. Is he Turkish? I don't want to know. Anyway, here's the three-minute ad break now. Got to pee. Right? Like, I mean, people don't really give a shit about the context. Obviously, like, yeah, he's trying to play both sides with this. People don't really give a shit about the conversation. Ludwig wants to have a large brand appeal. Chat, chat, chat. This is lovely. Chat is lovely. And that's why he doesn't really go in on a lot of social issues the same way that I or Hassan do. Guys, I'm on, I'm on everybody's side. Or XQC. I'm on your side and your side. Or Destiny. What a f liar, dude. But he doesn't want to do that. I just care about getting Twitter likes. Sorry. Nobody gives a rat's ass about the facts. Sorry, I'm a journalist reporting the facts. Yeah. This is like this is like Destiny just reading about Israel, Palestine on Wikipedia and then yeah. hopping in. If Ludwig did explain what he thinks about Israel and Palestine, I bet he probably wouldn't really know what he was talking about. And then yeah. hopping in. Yeah. And then people come in and say, hey yo, lad. You need to take one side. It's now we need to make a decision. Yeah, except he read the Wikipedia page wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he mixed up two sections. And lovers do like this. <laughs> and now he just disappears. And now he's making 20 minute mogul mail. Like, Jack, every time. <laughs> Jack. You know for Jack, you know he does that. Making 20 minutes. You know he does. And your Drake's up against Palestine. Yeah. Slime replies a bunch. Eventually, Destiny quote retweets him and, and says, did you really need a whole ass tweet thread? Then Slime said, sorry, should have just posted this. Which is crazy. Typical Slime. Because he's not spending all the time doing it. He's not invested into this. Destiny goes, lol, are you okay? Ludwig's second generic white friend. You can always just not talk on stuff you're clueless about. I'm flattered you spend this much time on Reddit posting about me. Like he doesn't have a personal interest in it. Slime replies. Replies. It's just the funniest thing about you. Ludwig uh, seems cool, but he sure associates himself with some cringe people. I'm on, I'm on everybody's side. Because he tries as hard as possible to appeal to the widest set of people possible. He's on every side. Which is a lot of words to say just, I have immaculate vibes. And when Slimer chews, he vanishes. Me and Slimer are different people. I honestly don't think you can defend your opinion. It seems like your understanding of race is just kind of disconnected. Because if you apply the same logic to Asians, then we can be racist to them also. What are you talking about, man? I already ran the three minute abrig at the time. Top of the hour. Every time. Well, he's an adult man. It's just, just kind of how it goes. I'm friends with the, that adult man. Yeah, and yeah, he, he does. But we are separate people. People don't really give a shit about the context. I don't, what? Or about any people involved. Oh my God, this is actually so fucking pathetic. I, are you serious? That's right, dude. Yeah, wag your finger at me. I thought it was just a little funny reply. You know, just for a donk sesh. Because nobody gives a He's just, he's like the most cowardly. They just care about a little Twitter, like little impression. Spineless. I love what you do like this. He's just repeating X take like 20 minutes ago from Asian racism. Yeah, Finkelstein said the Wikipedia comment too. Joe Rogan said the Wikipedia comment. Like to think that like it's coming from me only is so funny. When like, it's now a perma meme. Cool, now make one of Destiny talking about Hassan. I'm pretty sure Twitter allows you to upload videos over two hours, so you should be good at least for part one. <laughs> Since Hassan is trending yet again, Destiny's community cannot stop obsessing over Hassan and they act flabbergasted when they're accused of brigading and harassment. This is only 30 days worth of mentions of him. Yeah, remember this, guys? This was always... This is always funny when his community tries to say uh, that, like, uh, you know, oh, Hassan, you're projecting rent-free. Today I learned John Stewart is a Hassan fan. To be fair to Hassan, if we take into account all the needs in Hamasabi's audience. The irony is his 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 subreddit 
talks more about me than my own subreddit does. My own subreddit is not very active. Hassan underscore Piker. Okay. And when they are active, they're mostly like talking about Palestine, things of that nature. His subreddit literally only talks about me for the most part. I mean, I'm sure they, I mean, they go after whoever uh, the destiny hates on any given moment. And there's currently a target rich environment, but. I was on Ethan following the VAR stuff. <sighs> Has Tiny ever said anything about Lazan's family? These are also all the threads where I'm mentioned, by the way. So if it comes across like, hey, why is this in there? It's because they mentioned me in the thread. Just so you understand. Willing to talk to isn't the same as bridge building. He said multiple times before people who are essentially his enemies at the moment that while those relationships are fixable, he would require the first action to be something significant from the other party. Wait, you don't even know his biggest criticism of his enemies? Yes, it's that they never show the full thing he says. That thing you're talking about is totally different. I do know his criticisms of some uh, people, people, Vosh, Hassan, Mike, etc., but he seems to have generally shifted his stance to people who have hurt me uh, have to make a significant repair first. These are like... DG is literally making fun of Ludwig because he lied. What's your point? DG collectively don't always have the correct opinion. I'm not willing to assign lying to what could be misremembering. And DG's stance on a thing isn't an argument against anything I said. Or are you saying the situation where Ludwig should have shown evidence of the cheese ball thing? Because I think it's unreasonable to expect him to remember that Destiny was in, in eight seconds of the second ever video on Cutie's channel. This is in the same category of thing. You think it's reasonable to remember something like Destiny gave off super veer, weird and social personality, antisocial personality vibes, when the video couldn't be farther from the truth? How do you mess up something that bad? Again, eight seconds of a VOD from like six years ago. This is how you feel right now. Wait, I stand by what I said. He came into the room mid-game. I tried inviting him to join in. He didn't want to. I then offered $100. He missed. He missed, then he sat on the couch and left after the stream ended. How the f are you going to tell me how the first impression went from eight seconds, Lamau? Damn, so first impressions do matter. Any tips to make good first impression? Then, because I'd be shy and shit. I don't know. I'm bad at them. I think most people would perceive me as a frat guy, but I also don't think they matter much after you hang out with something, someone more and more. So you stand by what you said? By now repeating a completely different story? That's not what you said, idiot. He still took the cheese ball even after the $100 offer when you made it seem like, bro, 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 bro. You still got time to delete this, bro. Oh my God. These people are so unhinged, bro. The cheese ball doesn't even matter. You yourself are only further reaffirming the position that many people have that Destiny's community are like mentally unwell. They legitimately think that like this cheeseball saga is like actually, actually valid. Like who, this is permanent debate brain. You're watching permanent debate brain. This is what I try to tell people not to do. Okay. This is what I try to explain to you about the toxicity of debate Lord communities. They try to debate anything and everything. It's like debating your parents on who passes you the salt. Well, technically, the proximity that I had uh, to the salt shaker was actually much further away from my brother, who should have passed the salt himself. In this dissertation, I will describe to you why my brother should have been the one who passed the salt, and therefore, I am not going to pass you the salt. Slime nailed it by saying they can't view life through anything but debate mechanics. Bro, this is, is this like an entire... Is this an entire uh, generation of people that were just like destroyed by COVID? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a DGGer. It is so obvious you're bad faith right now. Just apologies to him. <laughs> For what? No, they were like this before COVID. True, they were they were like this before COVID. They literally are are trying to debate Ludwig into submission so that he will be friends with their favorite content creator that's insane like and and there is a not like if this was like three or four people that's one thing this is literally like hundreds of people hundreds of people and they're like updoing it like it's reddit i thought he came into the room and looked around and left what the i mean that's literally just a completely different story it's not a big deal actually why the am I commenting here? Holy shit. But it does come off as kind of weird, but the vibes weren't off. He was clearly looking for someone else. Like this guy made a fake account. Okay. I don't know when, and I don't know for what purpose, but he's using that fake account right now 
specifically to reply to only destiny related shit he's just otherwise he's only posting otherwise he's posting about like sukuna gojo shit like that dude's got one dude's got one follower and he's in the goddamn trenches like may 11th look people be as feminist as possible until the moment they see a person they dislikes wife dancing with the least sexual way possible with another man lamau bro are you okay and then he also is like he also is acting like he's new to this conversation, maybe even a Ludwig fan, as a matter of fact. I mean, that's literally just a completely different story. It's not that big. Actually, what am I commenting on here? Holy shit. But it does come across as kind of weird. Like, the extent of which you have to go to, the lengths that you have to go to to make, like, a sock account, or basically use your throwaway account in the trenches to make it sound like you're not, like, uh, a, a, a longtime Destiny fan. Like, there he is, like, you know... Talking about other shit related to Destiny. Boner Selly says if he catches anyone harassing on other platforms, he can track you back to your account. He'll ban you everywhere. So October early defenders have zero follower sock accounts that just show up in the replies. Oh my God, bro. Look, uh, I stand by what I said. Proceeds to tell a completely different story. Okay, dude. Based on your slightly shifted retelling, maybe, just maybe taking no as an answer from the start would have been better vibes. By the way, they're punishing him and yelling at him right now because... Slime said an offhanded remark to which Ludwig tried to deflect away from and basically like neutralize and got a shit ton of hatred from his community over and over again for the past couple of days. But I stand by what I said. Vibes were fine. So good. The cutie uploaded them. Try to thread the needle and make caveats. Or you could just say you misremembered. Dude, the video, dude, they're literally saying like, no, you don't understand. The vibes were actually fine. I wasn't in the room. Okay. I wasn't in the room, but the vibes were fine. Shut the f up. You are wrong about your recollection of not only the events, but also the feelings that you've had. Okay? Dude, the video is clearly edited, lol. Like, everything Ludwig just said could be true, but we don't have the video. But we have a strong track record of people lying about destiny, like the guy that was supposedly sent those death threats out, which I corrected when I found out and removed, which should be a good thing, but it's constant. It's always some weird destiny fan when it almost never is. Bro, you are the weird destiny fan. You're behaving as the Weird Destiny fan right now while talking about Weird Destiny fans. The biggest issue that the community has is that there's almost always accusations first and then apologies later. There's a good reason so few know about your mini walk back after. I'm assuming you're not lying about it. It's because it got time to hop on the f Destiny train and rather than critically think about whether it's our community or not, the accusations always come first and control the narrative. I don't know what any of th that is, man. I watched playoff basketball today. I'll assume you're not as involved. The big issue DGG has is the constant misinterpretation, flat out lies, and baseless accusation. Hold on, I got it. I mean, he said he wanted Israel and they're doing it. You know what I mean? He said he wanted the IDF and these guys are doing it. They're doing Hasbro for Destiny. No, I don't want to play Death Note because it might be copyrighted. The big issue DGG has is the constant misinterpretation, flat out lies, and baseless accusations. Again, when people accuse DGG of the narrative of that we send massive death threats to people, it's because of the initial blow up from content people like you make. Nobody remembers the apology, if it's true. I still don't believe that you even made an apology, but I'll say that you might have. I think, Ludwig responds, I think they think he's weird because this is, because this, not because of a story about cheese puffs. Oh wait, hold on, there's more, I, I missed another part. And now people will go off of your telling of Destiny's a weird anti-social guy with bad vibes because of the initial push. Let's say we get the VOD and find out you were wrong about the whole image. You have that of that day. Even if you were to apologize, nobody would dispute the Destiny bad vibes take. I think they think he's weird because of this, not because of a story about cheese puffs, he says. And then posts the, uh, um, Post the destiny logs where he's saying, I just had a epiphany. I'm Israel. And then my own fan base, Israeli citizens, blah, blah, blah. They criticize me. Perma banning every single random who criticized my takes on Ludwig Cutie, whoever the I think the best thing that could happen is that they all grab a bag of Fent loaded Coke so they can join Slime's dead dad six feet under. Make the world a better place and seriously yourself in a group. I'm thinking Jonestown, but not tragic. I need an idea of who is my strongest soldier, which I think is, you know, probably part of the reason why a lot of people think that that's sick. No, the vibes were really good when he said those things. Why are you such a coward, Lamau? Stick to one story. Despacito. 
all the orbiters coming in. Okay, where is the rest of this guy's uh, responses? Like, I can't... I blocked him a long time ago, so I can't see his responses. There's more, I suspect. Oh, here. You have no idea how much I think that stuff is crazy. The analysis isn't far off, though. Keffels gains traction by accusing Destiny of shady shit. Twitch community rides the wagon. Destiny gets banned. Keffel gets caught lying. Haha, ha, whoopsie, and no major condemnation. Like, will there be pushback from Frogan for being racist towards you while you try to help feed kids in a war zone? What do you mean pushback? Who cares? I think people who fight for me on my behalf are too lost in the sauce. I hope she gets none. And I'll get my revenge by leading the best life possible I can. I hope she does the same. No pushback for being racist? For shitting on a person who's donating to a charity? You should care, because you shouldn't want that type of behavior to become normalized. You're not a parent, sure, but you have those who will go by your value system. And if being racist towards whites is okay, that behavior will become more normal in your community. I also want to know what this guy's opinion is. If he's such a diehard Destiny fan, I suspect that he doesn't quite give a shit about Palestinians at all. Oh my god, this guy's been posting non-stop. Oh my god. He hasn't stopped posting. No wonder I blocked this f dude. It only becomes a complex issue because people like you will never truthfully engage with the facts of history. You will never engage with any numbers disproving genocide. You have your talking points already and want to pretend you run a moral high ground. While all you are doing is furthering the divide and never allowing a true conversation to exist for this conflict. Yeah, I don't know if he I don't know if he gives a shit about the, the Palestinians, but I don't know. I promise you my time's better spent focusing on what I want to do than pushback against her. And I think pushback will happen naturally from people seeing clips of her and deciding to watch or not watch her. I don't gotta lead a campaign for that to happen. I don't think is a single I don't think a single person who's not insane is wanting a campaign. It's just a direct statement of condemnation that would probably suffice. The Twitch space seems to have an overall idea that you can't be racist towards white people. And this passive I'm gonna do my own thing will imply that you're okay with it. I'm not even saying that what she said was as serious as other things said before. Because this deep in a thread, I clearly don't understand how clout works. I don't think many people will see the statements you've made about her. And time spent better? Sure, I guess. Was it worth? It then to change one of your videos that had a joke about Hassan and the streamer privilege thing because he's also a strong force in the no way to be racist towards white people since they hold social power camp. Imagine you're in an ambulance bleeding out and your AMT guy is just typing furiously to debate Ludwig on his phone as you watch helplessly through the reflection. Look at my EMT dog. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. He said inaction in the face of injustice is siding with the oppressor about, <laughs> about <laughs> anti-white racism. So this guy, this guy said, bro, this whole thing is extremely manic and unhealthy. Destiny's a stranger. Ludwig is a stranger. Go spend your time with your kids. Destiny's not only a stranger, but a fascist. You see, you see a cop slaughter a black guy and you see the cop is a racist, but cracker you jump at. I was taking a shit when I was responding to this. It was a little early to spend time with the family too. Also, Destiny being a fascist, that is so insanely far from the truth. How is a liberal who wants people to do whatever they want as long as... It is with the parties consenting a fascist. My man took the longest shit of his goddamn life, dude. I hope he pushed it all out.